cron jobs. So Luke did a video on cron jobs and by default the ones he has set up for LARBs don't work because you need to install um, what's called crony for something that lets you edit your cron tab or do something or to, to use cron jobs you had to install crony or some other package but I installed crony. Um, so what I have in my uh, cron jobs right now uh, cron tab is these three cron jobs. So I have one that does the um, the check for my upgrades every hour. So that's the little box up here. And I can show you like with the LARBs built-in stuff with um, the notifications. Um, it does it checks for the packages, downloads them, but does not do the actual upgrade with Pac-Man. And then what happens every single minute of every day is um, cron bat which is my battery so it'll check for all my battery stuff and this checks for both of them even though i have my own custom thing where i had my additional slice battery module added to i3 blocks this will do every minute of every day of every hour like it's every minute period um, it'll check for the status of my battery so this is constantly you know checking it making sure it's updated based on the battery variables in the system folder. And then the last one is just um, news update or news up, which is checking for my newsboat um, subscriptions. And that uh, happens every three minutes. So yeah, so every three minutes when I open newsboat, it'll actually like upgrade or it'll uh, refresh all of them and it'll it's doing it right now, but if I had waited, it would have had, I would have done the same thing. So, what does all this stuff mean? <clears throat> so, each of these asterisks actually means a specific portion of time where you're telling it to, to operate on. Um, so, with the first one here, you can see I have it, uh, the asterisk is divided by 60. This means that if I want this running every minute of every hour of every day, on a specific um, day of the week and uh, yeah then for at least for minutes the only thing I'm changing is this is going to run every single minute of every like forever every minute but if I divide it by 60 then it's only going to run every 60 minutes or whenever um, 60 minutes can be divided by 60 which is the final like uh, minute of the hour so this is going to run on an interval of an hour now this one is going to run um, every time a number of minutes from, you know, say like 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock, 12.03, oh, 3 is divisible by 3, so it's going to run. 12.06, same thing. 12.07, it's not going to run. So every multiple of 3 that's divisible by 3, um, it'll, this, this one will run. And then the middle one is just all asterisks. That one's just going to run every single minute of forever. So it's my battery. So I mean, I want that. I want it to run in incessantly. And then I have uh, this thing I pulled up here, which shows like each of the the corresponding asterisks. It goes for minute, hour, day of the month, month of the year, and day of the week. So I could have it run every <clears throat> every hour, um, every two hours. So I could have it run for um, let's just say every three minutes on every two hours. So for one hour, it'd run every three minutes, and the next hour it doesn't run at all. And then three minutes every hour, uh, every three minutes and an hour again. Um, only on the thirteenth day of the month, only on the third month, and only on Sundays or something. So this is how granular you can get with your cron control, because you want to be able to set your your automatic jobs to run whenever you want. So uh, all of this stuff in here, though, what the hell is all this? I don't know, <laughs> to be quite honest. Um, in the um, and what Luke left is a note that tells that um, when we add cron jobs, you might want to proceed it with this stuff to ensure notifications will dis will display. So for me, that would be like the uh, updating the RSS feeds. Like if I went and called. Um, Uh, if I went and called, let's say, 
cron bat. Actually, no, that's going to be one that um, news up. So then you can see like it displays that little notification of updating the RSS feeds. So to get that stuff to display correctly, you just add all that to it, or at least I think that's what it's supposed to be. So um, to like, like let everything know, like your screen dimensions and whatever it works for, it's just like supposed to be more robust and less stuff to set up. But yeah, it's just all that junk. And then um, <clears throat> the path from the home directory to the actual script you want to run on a uh, cron job. Um, I think that's all I had to... Oh yeah, so how to edit um, your own cron jobs. So to get to here, um, after you install crony and you have you know, your cron job stuff setting up, you just type cron tab dash E and it will open up your cron jobs. Now, in um, this setup, Luke has all the cron jobs in the cron folder under local binaries. Uh, I just add some stuff here whenever, if I ever need to. I don't really have anything, I think, super special um, in my... Uh, yeah, it's just a uh, cron tog. I don't really, I don't really haven't used that because I don't need to turn anything off. I always like these things on. Um, and then everything is just exactly what it was, what it has been. <clears throat> Yeah. Yeah, I only have this, I left the, uh, the battery zero one set to exactly to what it was, just because this is the actual computer's battery. I don't really care if my slice battery goes down to zero and I don't need a notification that it's getting low because that the whole thing is just an expansion of my, my battery. But if my main battery gets to the point where it's 25%, that means the slice battery is already dead and that's when I care. So that's why I only have this one for um, the, uh, bat zero thing here. Like, yeah, it says the bat zero variable. That's my uh, main system battery right here. Bat one is this one. So that's all I have for that. Um, I don't have anything, any super crazy cron job stuff set up yet. I haven't really found a use for um, much more than this, but when I do, I'll be sure to make a video about it. But I did like the being able to automatically set up these recurring jobs and just make stuff happen based on shell scripts, which are just terminal commands, which are really cool. So I really like the concept of cron jobs and I look forward to seeing what if, what I can do with them later on when I get to a point where I need to do something with them. But in the interim, this is all I have, updating my news boat, my battery, and um, downloading any new upgrades from Pac-Man whenever I need them. Looks like a lot of Haskell things, but yep, that's all for that. See you next time.